All right, well, I said I'm coming out with my NFL predictions later today, and I am. <sighs> Only 16 games, of course. That's how the NFL works. Uh, college is like 55 games about every week. Probably even more than that. And I enjoy it, but Jesus is picking all of them, man. It's, let's just be honest, 90% of the games we don't care about. But I still do it for you guys. All right, let's do some NFL predictions. Oh, yeah. Carolina, Houston. Carolina's up 7-0. I said before the game, 38-17 Carolina. We're still going to go with that, of course. I mean, we can't change pre-game predictions. Uh, what was the spread and all that? I don't know. But... Well, let's see if I'm right. I mean, it's 7-0 at halftime right now. Let's see. Oh, Texas just scored a touchdown. Okay. Uh, the spread for the game was eight for Carolina. Over under 43. Okay. Okay. Well, let's pick the rest of them. 21-20, App State beating Marshall, by the way. Texans missed extra point. Mm. All right, now let's do it. All right, let's go. Washington versus Bills, 1 o'clock. Bills, 7.5 point favorites, over under 45.5. I got... I got the Bills. 30 to 23. Uh, that actually gives Washington the spread. And it puts them over the 45.5 over under. Low scoring game, in my opinion. Cleveland versus the Bears. The Browns versus Bears, as we should say. I think the Browns win this game. 35. We'll go 35-27. Bears got Justin Fields now. Also 7.5 uh, favorite for the Browns. That means I got the Browns in the spread on this one. Over, under, 45 and a What? Same exact thing as the Washington Bills game? <laughs> Okay, I guess. Well, okay. Mm -hmm, okay, okay, okay. But I guess that's uh, that's over. Ravens versus Lions, eight and a half point favorites. I think the Ravens win this one. Forty-five. 7 Ravens covering the eight and a half point spread. That should be a lot higher than the fifty over under fifty-two. Obviously, huh? Titans versus Colts. Uh, Titans, uh, five and a half point favorites. I actually got the Titans in a low scoring one, 2017. Yeah. 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 Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Actually, let me analyze these games a little bit because they're only 16 games. Washington versus Bills, great uh, defenses on both sides. Bills can't run the ball to save their lives, but they can pass it. Washington can kind of have a balanced offense, so that's kind of why I have the low scoring game there. Bears versus Browns, Justin Fields playing this time. I think that it's going to give the Bears a spark on offense, a little bit of a spark. Bears can't run the ball, of course. And they can't pass it either, at least not with Andy Dalton, they can't. 
Uh, their defense is amazing, though. The Browns' uh, rushing attack is great. Defense is pretty good. Passing game. Offense is struggling a little bit this year. And he might return this to the house. Oh, my God. He returned that 55 yards. Surprised there's no blindside block call. Um... Yeah, next is, yeah, but that's why I think Browns will win that. Ravens, uh, you get a read option, triple option. Lions are a terrible team. They don't even have staff anymore. So, yeah, Ravens definitely winning this one. And a blowout, 45-7. I think that's a blindside block. They're actually going to call it. But yeah, blocking back. Yeah, that's not interference. Now the block. That's. Man, let that go. He, he didn't even put forceful contact. Oh, block below. Oh, I see now. Well, then I that wasn't the block then. Let me see it. I gotta see this play. Block below the waist square. I only saw a blindside block. That's all I saw. I don't see a block below the waist. Maybe I, I was just dreaming. Was it right there? I think it was. I think it was. Yep, that, yeah, that's it. That's a block below the waist. Good call. Good call. Oh, uh, yeah. Colts versus Titans. Titans got an amazing offense. Bad defense. But Colts don't really have a firepowering offense either. They're just kind of, yeah. Jacob Beeson's actually going to start this week, so that's going to help out the Colts. The Colts defense is decent. Just a balanced team overall for the Colts. Titans is all offense, no defense, but I still think it's low scoring. Yeah. Uh, Derrick Henry, Julio Jones, the Alabama combo, throwing an Ole Miss player in A.J. Brown with a Texas A&M player in Ryan Tannehill, all SEC players. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, I got Titans. I said 2017. That means they're under the 48 over under. Yeah. Chargers and Chiefs. Uh, Chiefs, the amazing passing offense I get. Mahomes. Yeah, they lost last week, by the way. Uh, their defense is not that good. Their run game is not really that good either. It's all passing, really. Which they have an amazing passing offense, but geez. Yeah, that's the thing with the Titans. They have great talent offense. I don't think they have great chemistry. I, I don't think they do. The reason why is you you got two top five wide receivers and a, a top two running back, top three running back. Uh, there's going to be a couple of issues and disagreements, man. I, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, yeah, that's, that's an issue there. They got to solve it. Chiefs is great chemistry, though. Uh, Chiefs by seven... Points, I guess. They'll they'll come back strong, I think. 48. 45 to... Um, we'll go 45-21, Chiefs. Seven-point favorites, they'll cover that. And then 54 and a half over under. They'll, it's over there. Yeah. Saints and Patriots. Okay, well, the Patriots actually have Mac Jones playing. Um, I should say the home and away. I should have done that in a college video, too. Chiefs are home against the Chargers. Titans are home against Colts. Lions are home against Ravens. Browns are home against the Bears. Bills are home against Washington. Patriots are home against Saints. Uh, Three-point favorites. 42 and a half. Saints week one looked like a Super Bowl team. Week two, they looked like a team getting the first overall pick. Uh. Breaking news, I got the Saints in this one. I think they'll win this one 20-17. Similar to the uh, Titans-Colts score. 
Uh, Saints will win. Scratch that three-point uh, favorite for the Patriots off the board. Great run there. And then uh, the 42-and-a-half over under. 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 These over-unders are lower in the NFL. That's how it is. Falcons versus Giants. Please, Atlanta. Win this one. As an honest Falcons fan, I don't think we win this game. I don't think we win this game. I think we lose. 27 17 Giants. Hurts me to say that. Home for the Giants. Giants have a three-point favorite, so we'll cover that. 47 and a half over under that. That's under. A lot of unders in the NFL. Very college football. College football is basically all overs. That's interference on the offense. That hurts me to say it. Yeah, Patriots Saints game. Uh, Patriots got decent run game. Pass the game's actually going well. A lot of open targets for Mac Jones. It's really the defense that's carrying the Patriots. Kind of same thing. The Saints passing game pretty good, I guess. Saints uh, run game it's good, and then the defense is carrying the Saints. So yeah. But Falcons Giants. I don't want to spend much time on this because when you pick against your favorite team, you don't want to spend much time on anything. Falcons, passing offense is supposed to be good, but it hasn't performed good really this year. Run game, not supposed to be good, but it actually performed well this year. The defense, a normal Falcons defense, garbage. As for the Giants, who got robbed last Well, not robbed, they messed that up. They offsides, fumbled, uh, blocked in the back, I think, on the Daniel Jones touchdown. Yeah. No. And then the Giant, Giants got a great run game, even without Saquon. Or, but even with Saquon, I mean, it's just not great, but it's decent. It's a pretty good run game. Pass game is decent. Defense is decent. They'll beat the Falcons. They'll beat them. I give it to them. Hopefully we win, though. Oh, to a year. Hurts me to say it, but Falcons are going to lose this one. Yeah. Bengals, Steelers. Steelers are going to win. I got it. Uh, 27 to 17. Yeah, yeah. Steelers will win this one. Cover the three point spread. Low battery there. Um, For the over under, it will be um over by one point. The over under is actually 43. They'll go over that. Did I say the over-unders for the other games? I think I did. For Saints and Patriots, I think I said 42 and a half and under. Um, as for the Falcons, Giants, I think I said 47 and a half and I said under as well. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Cardinals and Jaguars. Jaguars going to be blown out. Worst team in the NFL. Urban Meyer is a complete disappointment. Third, what is it? 41, I guess. For the Cardinals, 41 to well, 41 6 Cardinals covering that seven and a half point spread and uh, under the 52 over under. First four o'clock game, CBS, of course, maybe. Falcons game on Fox, by the way. Four o'clock. Broncos versus Jets. I got the Broncos, man. I really do. 30 to 20 Broncos, which means. I got the Jets in the point spread. Broncos will win the game, though. 30 to 20. As for the over under, 41 and a half. It's over. I, yeah, it's over. Because it's 50. Yeah. 
Raiders versus Dolphins. This was a score gummy match at last year, 26 to 25. Uh, yeah, let me uh, describe the Broncos-Jets game first. Let's hold off on that. Uh, Broncos, great defense. Good run game. Not not a terrible passing offense, but they're a good team still. They're 2-0. and up. They're a good team. As for the Jets, terrible passing offense. Terrible rush offense. Good defense, but Broncos have a great defense. That's the difference. But, all right, now on the Dolphins versus Raiders, Las Vegas versus Miami. Neil's favorite team, by the way. With Tua, of course. And, uh, yeah. Score got me last night, last year. Uh, uh, Raiders won 26. <laughs> Was it the, yeah. So big in non kai five, group of five, right? They hopped him. That's illegal, first of all. Wow, Marshall is winning. Yeah. Dolphins won 26 25. That's right. Um, this year, though, more of the same, I think. Raiders will use their. Uh, well, Josh Jacobs is actually out, so their run game is a little bit tanked, but their defense looks amazing. Their pass game looks pretty good, honestly. I'm, I can't lie, Derek Carr's looking great this year. Jeez, man. Ha happy over a 46 yard field goal? Chill out, man. Come on, dog. Really? Up and up and down. Like, oh, my Lord. Okay, whatever. Um, Miami will win this game. Uh, no, Las Vegas will win this game. 31. 17. I'm sorry, Neil. I, ha I had to do it. Dolphins are winning this one. Las Vegas will cover the four-point spread. And the 44 over, under. Over, yeah. Game of the week on Fox. Buccaneers versus the Rams. The preseason Super Bowl favorite versus the defending champions. Woo. Look at that moon, by the way. Yeah. That's not really a rivalry. Okay. Tampa Bay, one point favorite. I disagree. I think the Rams are going to get this one. 30. The Rams beat them last year, actually. Yeah. 27-24. More the same this year, I think. I think Matthew Stafford cars up that Buccaneers defense. I think they win 34 27 Rams. Uh, they'll reverse that spread. Tampa Bay favorite by one. Nope, Rams will win. 55 and a half over under. Okay. Uh, that's over. Yeah. Um, I think about every time, right? Yeah. Seahawks versus Vikings. Seattle favored by one and a half. I agree. I think Seahawks will win this game. I think it will be 35. The, we'll go we'll 35 to 21. Seahawks win this one. Cover the one and a half point favorite. And for the uh, 55 and a half over under, they will also be over by one point, of course. Yeah. Sunday night football, national TV, a game everybody can actually watch. Packers versus 49ers. Well, who do I got here? Packers are struggling. In a scary way, too. Um, Cowboys and Eagles, $45. Oh, good Lord. Oh, yep. I don't think that's targeting. I don't. Targeting, really... I 
That's shoulder to shoulder, man. That's what? Okay. Um. Yeah, I think Packers are going to win this one, actually. No, no, 49ers, 34 to 27. Um, Packers will win it. San Francisco favored by three. Nope, reverse that. Packers will win by seven. Over, under 50. Yeah, over. Monday night football. Should have been Sunday night. But we'll go Monday night. Cowboys, Eagles. How about them Cowboys, right? How about them Cowboys? They'll win this game 42 to 14, I think. They'll win it as much by as much as they want to, in my opinion. There's no way the Eagles are winning this. Yeah, I think Cowboys are going to blow them out. I just think they're a great team, just being honest. Yeah, three and a half point favorite for Dallas. Yeah. Easy. Uh, win for Dallas. 51 and a half uh, over that. 42 for. Did I really just. Yeah, I guess we'll go with it. Or. Yeah. How about the. Oh, should we analyze Seahawks and. Buccaneers and Rams? We should analyze that game first. Uh, Buccaneers have a great passing offense, a great rushing offense, and a good defense. Defense is a little bit underperforming this year. I don't know what's going on. Uh, and Seahawks Vikings, of course, you got great quarterback Russell Wilson. Uh, decent run game for the Seahawks. Great passing game, of course. Good defense for the Seahawks. Fumble. Should have picked Marshall. No, I lost my shot. Dang it. All right, Packers 49ers. Great passing offensive. Should be for the Packers. Great rushing offensive. Should be for the Packers. Not a really good defense. But, yeah. 49ers, great defense. Subpar passing offense. And a good rushing attack. Now, for the Cowboys and Eagles, Eagles just aren't that good, in my opinion. I don't, I'm not buying it, really. We'll go 38-21, Cowboys. I changed my mind on that. Cowboys with a great passing offense. Should be great rushing attack. And then, um, great defense. Good defense. Eagles with a terrible passing attack. Good rushing attack. Bad defense. Decent defense. I'm just not, I don't know about the Eagles, man. I don't, I'm not high on them. I'm not. I really am. I'm not. Still, Cowboys want to spread three and a half. Still over the 51 and a half over under. All right, that's it. I don't want to drag up the video in honor. My shirt's on the front this time. I'm not wearing it backwards. Look, I told you, NFL only got 16 games. Um, this isn't taking, this isn't going to take forever. Um, Yeah. Oh, yeah, my Matt Ryan jersey that I've lost for so long. I finally found it. I got this jersey about eight years ago. I got a Julio Jones jersey eight years ago. Let's see if it still fits. I've lost this for about a month. And I wear it every Falcons game. I don't care how bad Matt Ryan plays. I'm still wearing this jersey. Yeah. It's no white jersey. It actually is the old Falcons uniforms. They don't have these anymore. In my opinion, the old uniforms are better. They should have kept them, in my opinion. So, that's just my opinion, though. I guess the old new uniforms are more 2021-like, I guess you could say. But, uh, I want the old ones back. I, I don't, uh, yeah. But, yeah, this is the old Falcons jersey. Matt Ryan on the back. Yeah. Other one it says Watson, actually. Oh, jeez. I can't even get a good view. 
What if this works? Y'all see this? Two million miles later, there's Lala. But we didn't do all that. Hopefully, yeah. I'm gonna put off some of course down there. Um Let me show you something on the Herschel Walk jersey if you haven't noticed already. Um This 34 Herschel Walker jersey right here. I forgot to tell you all this, but look what it has on the back. It doesn't have Herschel Walker. It has Watson. My last name. <laughs> Make it even cooler. This one has Ryan. That one is Watson. Same with the Jacob Beeson jersey I got five years ago. Wonder where that is. Got to find that later, but we don't have time. Not dragging out the video any longer. Of course, Marietta. Blue Devils. Got my pads. All right, but other than that, that's my practice jersey. Game jersey is different. Peace and go. Yeah, this NFL video. Peace and rise up.